August is National Immunization Awareness Month. And as all the kids return to school, especially here in Clark County, it's a great time to make sure everyone in your family is up to date on those shots. Absolutely. Super important. Joining us now, Dr. Jeff Morofsky. He is the chief medical officer and director and all the things over at Silver Summit yeah. Health Plan. It's great to have you, sir. How are you? It's great to be back and to talk about immunizations that aren't COVID. Yeah, exactly. I know there are some right. people that are watching the television right now. They're throwing their shoe at the TV. How dare you talk about that poison? Yeah. But in actuality, you know, I, I, who, a show of hands, who here had to be immunized in public school? Yeah, we all, I mean, it, I'll, it's kind of like the rule. So let's talk yep. about immunizations, it why they're so important. I mean, these have been going on for years and years. Yeah, you know, we've, we've had immunization requirements in our public schools and, and, and our private and charter schools for a long time. There's a series of viral infections that we have immunizations for. They're our best tool in fighting viruses. Measles, mumps, and rubella, those are the big ones. Um, we have immunizations for chickenpox. If you haven't been immunized, we have the flu every year. I'm trying to remind people that's coming early. Yeah. We have some bacterial illnesses like uh, meningitis that we immunize people that are going to be in tight settings for, like college kids. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, can we go on a sidebar with the, the flu shot? Because I, is this year going to be a little bit different? This is the time of year to talk about it. Yeah, you know, they're starting to roll out the new shots. They should be here in a couple of weeks. And, you know, last year we had a really, really mild flu season because everybody was locked in their house pretty much, not getting out and seeing anybody. You know, this year that means we're all going to be probably out and about a little bit more. That means we'll probably have a lot more active flu season. And if you get the flu, you can transmit other things more easily because you're just making more icky stuff and yeah. blowing your nose and sneezing on things. So it's a really important year to get that flu shot and get it done. And it should you know, be in your pharmacies pretty soon. Who, who needs immunizations? Well, everybody needs immunizations of some kind, but there's different ages. You know, we talk about our childhood sets. You know, the young kids get your measles, mumps, and rubellas. Everybody gets their tetanus shots and tetanus boosters. Um, as we get to be older as adults, um, there are certain vaccinations that we get if we haven't gotten something. So uh, there's a shingles vaccine for 50 and up if you haven't had shingles before or, and you have had chickenpox. There's the pneumonia vaccines over 65. There's the flu, which everybody should get every year going forward. And there are special ones like the meningitis vaccine for college kids and hepatitis A vaccine if you work in healthcare or food workers. Um, there's all sorts of important ones that we all should be getting. All very you know, safe, uh, all very effective. Doctor, when you mentioned this shingles shot, of course, that's nothing I've ever really considered getting. I tell you what, though, when you see one of those commercials that's airing on TV right now, showing <laughs> what shingles looks like, it sure it makes like you reconsider. Stinks. Yeah. Yeah, shingles hurts a lot. And basically shingles is when your chicken pox gets reactivated and it comes out in your skin in this big block of space right along a nerve and it hurts like stink. Um, and it can stay hurting for a very long time. And so trying to keep that from happening, there's a vaccine that can help you do that. Immunizations, it's not, should we look at immunizations as something that just protects us or something that protects the greater good? You know, I think we look at it as an important question as part of the greater good. You know, unfortunately, there's about 2% of people that can't get certain vaccines. Measles is a really good example. There's about 2% of people that can't have that vaccine. They're on certain cancer therapies. They have certain genetic disorders. If we, the rest of us get vaccinated, we present the, prevent the measles from going around and getting those kids sick, and they can unfortunately die if they get it. And so that's how we help other people. Same thing with flu. We prevent the spread of the flu, and that prevents our older folks who are compromised from getting the flu and potentially dying. Yes. And so vaccine for you and vaccine for your friends. There you go. Vaccine for all. Uh, doctor, mm -hmm. <laughs> speaking of helping people at Silver Summit Health Plan, um, you do some incredible work over there. Tell us what is, uh, you know, offered to your patients. Sure. You know, we partner with Immunize Nevada to go to events and host events where we can give out immunizations, but the regular school-based ones at school fairs, and obviously we're doing COVID ones right now as well. But on www.silversummit.com, you'll find lots of great information about vaccination and where to get it. A link to Immunize Nevada, who has wonderful stuff that you can read to help you feel good about the vaccines and how safe and effective they are and how well they've been tested over time and, and all the good things they can do for you and your family. Now, really quickly, before, before we go, uh, when it comes to immunizations, how do we know which ones we have and 
what our schedule is? How do we keep up? Mm. Yeah, so that's a great question. So um, Immunize Nevada runs the vaccine immunized database for Nevada. You ask your doctor, they'll get you a login. You can actually log in and pull your own vaccine record down and your physician will tell you what you're due for when or even your local pharmacy that gives vaccines can look that up and get you the right ones. Awesome. Super interesting. Dr. Jeff, I'd like to just say too, I noticed when you said it, it hurts like stink when you get shingles. I realized that you also have a job where you're not allowed to curse like Sean and I, we, we pick these alternative curse words <laughs> yeah. because it's not, it's just not attractive if a doctor curses. So we appreciate yeah, it, your use yeah, it, of the word stink. No, no, thanks. It, it hurts like the Dickens. It hurts really bad. Oh, that's Don't a good get one. shingles, get a vaccine. You know, I, I think it's just a great idea, right? Reach out, get yourself vaccinated with the right stuff. Absolutely. It's good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> All the ickies. You don't want the ickies. SilverSummitHealthPlan.com. If you want to learn more about Silver Summit, go there. Check it out.